Good morning, everyone. My name is Sarah Shaddy, and I am the Director of Christian Education here at Concordia in Greenwood. I'm here to talk to you about some different board books or books that are good to use with infants and toddlers. I'd like to thank Thrivent for helping us add some of these books to our church library so parents can look at them before they purchase them. The first set that I would like to show are from Cloria Publishing, K-L-O-R-I-A Publishing. And I've got about five of them right here. Um, most of these are books from our personal library. I wanted to show how durable some of these are. Um, they make uh, Lutheran books, board books, and other books that are also just really good to use in the home. And a lot of them go with him. So we have I Am Jesus Little Lamb, Beneath Night Shadow, uh, God Loves Me Dearly, Lord Keep Us Steadfast in Your Word, and we all believe in one true God. And what's really cool about these books is it is the lyrics to the song. This one is one of my toddler's favorites because there's a lamb in every single page. Um, and she likes to try and find them. But then also at the very end of the book is the song with the music in it. And these books also um, are pretty durable. You can look, our book is well-loved and well-teethed and um, also withstands a lot of punishment as she tries to bend it back. And you can maybe even see the teeth marks at the very top of the book. So these are very durable and we love them in our house. Another one that we really like, it's called Say and Pray Devotions. And these are very, very simple devotions. Um, this would be the devotional thought over here, the Bible verse that comes from the short prayer, and then just a picture with a bunch of words in it. And it may not seem like a lot, but I know I'm a lot more cognizant about teaching my kids about Jesus when it's a book about Jesus. So instead of just saying, yeah, the grass is green, I may say something like, yeah, God made the grass green. Whereas in another book, if my toddler points out the grass is green, I just say, yeah, you're right, the grass is green. What color is the tree? When it's a book like this, then yeah, God made that grass green. What else did he make green? And it's also a really good way to start to try and get into um, just that habit of devotions. And they can be simple. They really can be. Another one, same idea. This one is called Bible Animals. Um, and you touch and feel. My kid's favorite is this camel over here. And um, the only warning about this book, there's a really sparkly dove and it kind of uh, got some sparkles over on this page. But once again, very simple book. But I'm a lot more likely to say, yeah, God made that donkey. What sound does the donkey make then if it was just a regular donkey book? It's more of a mindset for me and hopefully for others too. There's another one that someone got my uh, girls. It's called Little One, God Loves You. And it's just a really cute story about a bunny talking about the different ways that we can help serve God. And really cute pictures. Another one, this is a good book to get someone for Easter. It's called Easter is Coming. And it's a bit longer, still pretty durable. Um, fun fact, the when the pages are white like that, it usually means the board book is made out of better materials. But so basically it just goes through the story of um, the fall into humanity and then also Jesus coming to die for our sins. And a lot of it talks about, but Easter is coming. And then also what happens on Easter. Two books that I wasn't able to uh, show either because of copyright or other things. Um, one is called My Church Word Book from... Uh, CPH, Concordia Publishing House, and my kid likes to look at the book and uh, point out all the pictures of mommies and daddies and grandmas and grandpas, but it is a good book to um, start having children realize things like what's up on the altar, um, that's the candle, or different things that we do at church, so that's a nice book. And then another book I absolutely love and didn't know it was a board book until today actually, um, and I'll talk about it in another book. It's called God Gave Us You. And it's a cute story with two polar bears kind of helping parents explain to kids 
um, where they come from because that awkward question is eventually going to come. And this book does a very nice job explaining that God gave us you and just ways to respond to that question and the series of questions that may come uh, when kids are really little. So I have not read the board book version, but we love the paper version of it. So hopefully you're able to uh, find some of these in the description down below. Uh, we'll link to them and hope you're able to enjoy or find some good gifts for those infants and toddlers in your life.